Like most people, I believe that time is precious. You never really know what the future will hold, and it's certainly something that's hard to plan for. Personally, I find that in today's society, we value quantity of time a lot more than quality. If we don't think we have an adequate amount of time to do something, we usually don't. I even thought to myself many times before booking this flight that was delayed twice, that it wouldn't be worth it if it was only for one weekend. But what is considered worth it? Well, for me, it was her. And having even just a little bit of time to spend with someone that I care about sounded a lot better than having none at all. A couple hours later, we touched down in Salt Lake City and I started getting everything ready for the surprise. So guys, a big reason why I'm even making this video in the first place, besides just making a video to look back and have a memory of it, I wanna get across the message of time is precious. We spend so much time saying things like, I'm not gonna go hang out with them tonight, it's 20 minutes away and it's already quarter past seven, or I'm not gonna see my family because they live an hour away and I won't get that much time to spend with them. I hate that mindset because we will spend so much time, myself included, just staring at social media and swiping through our phones for hours. But when it comes to an hour car ride just to see someone, we treat it like it's a huge deal. Another huge thing is just doing stuff, just being spontaneous and going to do it. Like a lot of people will just say, oh, I won't go visit them because I only have one day with them. But like you can do so much in one day. I know this isn't one day, but it's just one weekend. I understand that a lot of people aren't in the position where they can just simply, you know, leave like I just did, especially with such a small notice, but this is exaggerated in this video. This is like a rare case. It's about, it's about the small things and just making that 20 minute car ride or going and spending time with your family, even if it's just one day and it's, two or three hour car ride to go see them. Like, we have time for everything else, but we don't have time for the people we care about. It's, it's weird. So yeah, that's something I definitely wanna stray away from, and that's why I try to do more stuff like this. Another reason is I just, I love surprising people, and I feel like she's gonna be really happy when she, uh, she better be happy when she's. <laughs> time is precious, like you never know how much time you really have. So many people would just, finally see their grandparents when they're sick in the hospital. It's like then they have all the time in the world to spend with them. Or if your friend gets in a car wreck, now all of a sudden you have all the time in the world to spend with them. You know, just really cherish time and understand that anything can happen to anyone you care about at any second or yourself, you know? Just focus on what really matters. But anyway, I gotta get set up. I don't know if I'm gonna have her come to the house inside or do it outside but i got like five minutes to figure this out so hopefully it goes good the next scene will be um the surprise yeah i'm excited <laughs> All right, so yeah, just go up to the second floor. It'll be 34 and then it'll just be there. Make sure you close the lock the door on the way out, all right? opinion it's moments like these that make life so memorable moments that are created simply by just doing and not worrying about only having so much time <laughs> 